Hello, it's Melissa, the M of the Miniature Bespoke Hair Styles. Are you well? Are you good? This posting is uh, a bit random. Um, I spotted, I watched a video, Terran916, I hope I've got this right, Terran916, um, about my beautiful mess. And I was watching it, and I loved the video. And I was like, I could do a response, because I don't necessarily have curly mess. But then I thought, I'm going to do a response. Why not? I'm going to represent the locks wearers. So this posting is celebrating my beautiful mess. So I tried to recreate the scene. I've just, just done the school run. So um, I've come back and I've got what I normally sleep with on my hair. And I don't know what it's called. A lock, so I don't know. I bought it years ago when I first got my hair locked. Um, and so this is how I wake up in the morning. That's a lie. Um, this is not how I wake up in the morning. I look worse. But obviously, I'm not going to come on with um, my face on wash and on cleanse. So um, I have tried to recreate the scene as best as I could um, with consideration to your eyes because I don't want you to be like, oh my God, what does she look like in the morning? So I've tried to tame it a bit. Um, okay, so wake up in the morning and um, I have this on my head, which um, I actually don't think about how I do it, but it's wrapped around my head in the morning and it's got a long bit. So I guess it's when your locks is really long, you can put it through. But for now, well, I don't normally do that. I normally just wear it over, take the, the um, cord through, which is already knotted, because I can't be bothered to re-knot it every night. And then that's it. And it's elasticated. So in the mornings, I take this off. And this is my beautiful mess in the morning. <laughs> and um, this is how I look now. The reason why I feel it's important for me to put this poster out is because I love to style my hair. And most of the time, my hair is up and styled. And um, I don't know what happened this week. I just decided to wash and go. Uh, yesterday, I um, was showering and I just thought I feel like having water go through my hair. And that is what I did. I went under the shower and I just let the water run through. And I just shook my scalp and loosened all the build-up. I mean, I wash my hair once a week, by the way. So this was just me wanting the water on my head and just giving my hair a massage. Um, and I sparkle all the time. But that's why my hair, um, you'll see the sparkle because I, I top up. But this is what I look like in the morning. And I just wanted to, to celebrate my hair. Now, my beautiful mess, yes, is Sister Locks. But... Um, I went through a phase where I felt that sister locks wasn't beautiful when it was down. And so this week, for some reason, I've just thought, you know what? I just can't. I'm too busy. And um, I just want my hair down. Now, for the same reason why I have my hair down, because it's been a really busy, full on week, fantastic. Um, and it's been like this now. So thank you, clients. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming and supporting uh, Melissa and Miguel, who spoke hairstyles. Um, that the reason why I stopped colouring my hair was the same reason. I have kids, I have home life, husband, and I don't have time, uh, enough time dedicated to colouring my hair in the healthiest way possible. Because I feel like for me, hair is the healthiest way possible. So my beautiful mess includes my grains. It's, I, I'm letting it run through. And I love my husband, right? But one day he said to me, and I hope he eventually watches this video and comes back and apologises because I was right. And he said to me, can you do me a favor, please, Mel? And I'm like, what is it, darling? Because I thought he was going to ask for something regular. And he said, can you cover your grains? Can you imagine he told me to cover my grains? And I was like, uh, no, I'm not covering, covering my grains. Um, because I just want to be free. Um, I just want to be free. I've turned 40 and uh, part of that is just accepting um, who I am. And I am comfortable with it. My hair um, used to be um, permed and I stayed the same personality. I used to put extensions through it. I stayed the same personality. I had my loose afro um, and I felt it kind of reflected my person personality a bit more because I was more creative with my hair and a bit extrovert with my hair. It still reflected my personality. When I straightened my hair, when it was natural, it still reflects my personality. 
And so now I'm locked stop. Even when it was baby stage, it was a bit messy and teenage stage was a bit messy. It stayed, I stayed consistently male in who I am. And so the fact that I'm going gray now and um, I've locked up my hair does not change. My hair does not define who I am. It's not an issue. I don't talk about my hair 24 seven. Once my hair is done, I move on and live my life. And that's what this, this posting basically is about. It's like, don't, you don't, your hair doesn't define you. I just want to live in the healthiest way possible. So like, I don't try and put chemicals unnecessarily onto my hair. I try to eat greens, eat healthy, drink a lot of water, exercise. I want to live a healthy lifestyle. Part of that involves having this hair and now locks up, but enjoying my hair the natural way and keeping it professional and looking fabulous when I want to look. Uh, when I want to put on makeup, I put on makeup. If I don't, I don't. And it's just about letting loose and being who you are. So clients, friends watching this, YouTubers, if you've got loose afro, if you've got even your permed hair, um, it's just about being you and celebrating who you are. That's what it's about. Um, now, for me, I feel it is very important for my daughter to cease a posting like this one day and go, right, that's fine. I don't have to endanger my health or I don't have to change the curl pattern to feel great about myself. So this is dedicated to, the, to um, adults, to young people having an issue with their hair or you've just locked your hair and you're thinking, my hair is too messy. Um, it doesn't matter. Your hair will settle. And when I had uh, my baby locks and my teenage, um, state, teenage stage of my sister locks, I just pinned the flower on it. I didn't want it styled. I just pinned the flower on it and I, and I just went out and I was free and I got compliments. I mean, sometimes I had compliments and sometimes I had my mother patting my hair down and looking really sorry for me because I was pregnant. I could not be bothered to touch my hair. I still stay me, consistent. And that's what it's about. It's about you inside coming out. And when you have grace coming through and you rock your hair, like, nobody sees that um, you have issues with it. They just see that you're looking fabulous and you're feeling your hair. So me today, I celebrate my brown skin. I celebrate my broad nose. I celebrate my lip and the bottom lip hanging down because it's inherited from um, a, a family that I belong to. I celebrate my eyes. Um, for everyone who has issues with their forehead, you know, I celebrate my forehead. I celebrate me. And I'm thankful that I'm here today to do this posting because this is a blessing to be here. So yeah, this is what it's about. Just be free. Um, I'm celebrating my messy, this is my messy hair. Um, and just keep living. Love your hair, love your body, love your skin and keep living. Uh, now, okay, quickly. Um, you saw my posting with Dawn, a male's perspective on natural hair. And I love that. What we did, I loved it. And I realized he just opened my eyes and I realized I know nothing. I know nothing about my history, about, I, I, when I was younger, I used to say I'm proud to be black. And I am proud to be black. I didn't choose to be black. I just happened to be black. And I happen to belong to a family that I'm happy to belong to. But I need to learn and I need to find ways of educating my children about celebrating who they are. And I realize Don is like a Bible. Like he's got so much, he's like an encyclopedia. So I'm going to try and get sessions with Don. Um, it's like equivalent to like a Saturday school, but it's just going to be on YouTube. Um, and so I'm going to learn. And whilst I'm learning, I want to share that experience with you. Um, and I want to share what books I'm reading because I'm determined to educate myself so my children, um, when they are told, you know, negative things or questioned about who they are, they stand with pride, with their shoulders back, um, with their brown skin tone, with their black skin, with their African hair, and explain where they came from with pride. So Friday, we're going to talk about melanin. And I know don't know much about melanin, but I'm going to um, ask questions and I'm going to just absorb the information Don's going to give me. So watch out for that posting. And that's it. Next, I'm going to have um, Annette coming around from Almond and Avocado, and she's going to do a reflexology, because I'm standing on my feet all the time, and I need my feet massaged, and I need to take care of my body, because I'm on my feet all the time. So I'm looking forward to getting my feet massaged and spending a positive afternoon, morning, afternoon, with my sister Annette, who I celebrate and I love and I sort of respect 
um, her history and her, her life journey. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Have a positive day and take care of you. And goodbye. Ah, well, Mono Safel SK, original. I'll your ringer.